my name is Ricky Dane. I have two children, Finn who's six years old and Luca who is six months old. Conceiving Finn was very easy and unexpected. I wasn't actually trying to have a baby at the time, which is part of the reason why conceiving Luca was more difficult because I hadn't had any issues with Finn and expected that it would be just as simple this time around. When you're trying to conceive, every month feels like a year. I stopped having regular cycles and ended up having a range of tests that indicated that I had PCOS and there were a lot of cysts present. Polycystic ovarian syndrome impacts the hormones in the body so that the hormones are out of balance and for me that meant uh, not having regular cycles and gaining weight. I could you know, almost pinpoint it to, to a particular moment in my life where my diet became really bad, uh, was, you know, a lot of, a lot of high fat, high salt, high sugar foods, drinking a lot to manage, manage the stress, eating on the run, uh, not exercising. So I went to my GP and got a referral to a fertility doctor and she said that if basically we wouldn't conceive naturally and that we should go straight to IVF. My partner, being very pragmatic about these things, suggested that we wait until uh, the beginning of the following year when we had uh, more time and space in our lives because we'd heard that the IVF journey can be very um, full on and very time consuming as well as mentally um, consuming. So in that window of time, I decided I would throw everything I, I had at conceiving naturally understanding the way PCOS worked, the first thing that I wanted to do was to get really healthy and fit um, and to lose some weight. And I started doing yoga at different periods of time up to six times a week. I consulted with a naturopath as well as a Chinese medicine doctor and found a way of eating that eliminated foods that caused inflammation in my body. For about three months there was a period where I was being very, very devout and really exercising a lot and eating really, really well, working with a personal trainer as well as doing yoga. Um, and then I had a, a laparoscopy and after that, uh, within a few months, we were able to conceive. So by that time I'd lost about 10 kilos. So I did the pregnancy test first thing in the morning, got in the shower, you know, left it there, didn't think much of it. And I was in the shower and I looked over and I saw the, the second blue line and <laughs> literally leapt out of the shower. It sounds very cliche, but it felt like a miracle because even though I was doing everything I could holistically and naturally um, to support myself, in my mind, all I could hear was the doctor saying, you won't conceive naturally. Preconception health is as important as your health when you are pregnant. From what I understand, if your body is in the best physical condition that it can be, conception will happen a lot more readily if your body is in a really good place to receive um, that life into it. If you're strong and healthy when that baby comes into the world, it will be a much more enjoyable experience.